First of all, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoy the video. This one I stuck with a red and green theme, was very fun, and those little apples, they are miniature apples by Rocket, found at the grocery store, and they are real, and they're actually very good. The rosemary in the back was just something that I wanted to add that was edible, and it's nice to include an herb or even fresh flowers. Something like this is fun for decor or as a gift. This is a really fun idea. I like to make these for all sorts of holidays, for gifts or just decoration, and it's great for any time of year. A thrifted Sunday glass will cost you about a dollar, and I collect these just for this purpose. All you need are two bunches of carnations. The hardest thing you will have is finding the white carnations because they tend to sell out first, no matter what time of year. But the pink makes the strawberry ice cream and the white makes the whipped cream on top. Of course, if you're feeling really crazy, you could do a double decker sundae. You can use filter floss to wrap the stems or cotton batting, even paper towels or cotton balls would work as well. Cute little paper straws that are striped and from a vintage candle wreath form, I popped off one of the little uh, sugared berries. A lemon cypress topiary from the grocery store is good all year round. And even all dolled up for each season. Just some picks from Walmart and it looks all festive. I highly recommend if you're ever looking for a container that's really cute and reasonably priced, go to Aldi. They have them for all seasons and holidays and they're usually under $10. Head planters are big. I'm going to be having a video very soon with a lot more inspirations for these head planters or face planters as they're known. They are absolutely adorable and the, the ideas are absolutely en endless what you can do with these. I thought this was very jaunty. This is a super easy idea. All you need is an urn, some sort of container, any sort, and any kind of collection that you'd like to showcase. This is really great for ornaments if you don't feel like putting up your tree, or maybe you've put up a small tree, or you're just trying to keep things more simple. A great way to display ornament collections or any other collection for that matter. This is a little urn and these little these little clip picks from Walmart, of which I got probably 12 of them because they were probably a dollar or two. They're so cute and they work out great anywhere on wreaths, in containers, on packages, anywhere. And it just looks cute. I, I actually do this little arrangement every single year and it doesn't take up any space at all. Also great use for all those little pine bows and little sprigs that fall off when you're decorating somewhere else. Don't throw them away. Keep them for something like this. Both of these are also from Aldi. Really cute. I passed by these a couple times and then just had to get them, yes, in two different colors.
as you can probably tell, I really, really like urns and I love miniature urns. Some more light lemon cypress trees, which are so cute, especially when they're tiny. And of course, some favorite felted animals to stare at you while you eat. This is a fun one because I'm using three very classic items. An urn, an ivy, and a Cecil tree. Now, if you do have a Cecil tree like I do with the base, and you don't want to cut the base off, you'll use moss like I did, and that'll help hide the base and hold it firmly too. But don't forget to water your ivy. I love to switch out urns for the season, and this is one of my favorite ways to make little seasonal scenes. These lemon cypress trees you can get at any garden center, and they come very, very small, as you can see, and you can tuck them in, you can take them out of the pot, or like I did, I just left them right now in their little plastic pot. This is my little collection of KLM trees, and I'm gonna add some snow, and this is my favorite sand. I get it from Hobby Lobby, and it's in their sand art collection of, um, the, the aisle that they have when you create the bottles of layered sand. And I love this sand because it's very fine and actually is very, very sparkly. It works great for mimicking snow. Was too big for you here's a very small one garden centers now have these super super tiny succulents and i figured might as well give it a little snowy scene as well and if you love and collect miniatures just like i do this is a great excuse to get them out and use them but don't forget the fresh greenery This is my favorite one of all. Very simple, but I, I really like how it turned out. I hope you enjoy, and thank you so much for watching.